Hey what is up guys, welcome back. So this is my TLC series, um, I'm just going to finish it very very fast. It's not that difficult, I think I should possibly be able to clear 50, if not I'll at least be able to get to 49. And if I need to build something to clear 50, I'll definitely do it because I'm really uh, in need of the Holy Gleam. So I might as well build like the Light Ghost or something if I really really need it. But I'm, I'm going to go through these four floors in this video and just kind of show you guys the run and then I'll finish um, 50 in a, in a separate video. So this floor has no water, meaning it's time to use my Fire Arthur again. It's impossible for them to have water, right? It has shown that there's no water. I think this is a pretty good idea because it um, allows people to see what's actually on the floors. So if they want to prepare for anything like that. But all in all, if you're able to farm like, if you're able to effectively farm B7 to B8, you should, probably should be able to do this relatively easily. It's not the hardest thing in the world to beat TLC, I don't think. But maybe they'll add more floors in the future, maybe it'll, it'll go up to 100. You never know. Uh, he shouldn't have wasted his nuke. But I guess it's fine, because he can still stun on this turn. Alright, we stunned two and sealed one. This is pretty nice. Imagine if there was a healer with a stun on first kill, that would be awesome. Or a healer with like a... What? The fuck? Alright, maybe I can still beat this. Nothing really bad happens. Oh shit. Oh wait, no, it's a dark one. Please don't hit hit him. Alright, I just need all the red souls to go to my hunter. And we're good. RIP. There's four more. Should definitely kill that light one first. And hope it hits the C star. Okay, this is good. Oh shit, no, 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 this is not good. That death break is definitely not good. Oh, snap. But I think I got this. My nightmare has her heal up. And there's three units on the enemy team, so I'll be able to heal 30%. Oh, that was a lot of damage. I mean, if this if this was in the arena, I'd be dead prob probably. All right, all right, all right. So this is another light and dark stage. Um, yeah, I think I can bring this. Maybe I should put more tankiness on my Arthur. I feel like he always dies too fast. Alright, we just need to stun the light one so he doesn't hit my dark units. And then these two dark bees can do whatever the fuck they want. They should attack different targets so they stun one of each. Yeah, that was pretty nice. Full on CC. All the way. Hmm, I do have my heal up. Alright, alright, I got a full nuke coming. Let's do this. Nice, nice. Oh my god, don't hit my Arthur! Okay, I'm gonna make a complete rune makeover with Arthur and just make him tanky. Like, just a lot tankier, I think. But I think I do have this. 
Maybe I just need like a stronger nuke team and then just nuke the shit out of the enemy before I before they can even do anything to me. Alright, what we got? We got four fire. No water, full fire, alright? Alright. As long as we CC them, they can't armor break me. Hope. Oh. oh, God. What the fuck? Oh, why? Why? There were four units. You were. It's like. Ex except for the water nightmare, the other three were element neutral. <laughs> why? I was uh, deeply saddened by that, by what happened. That was very unfortunate. Oh god, my hunter is dead, I think. Unless, unless all the blue red souls go down. Nope! Nope, he's dead. Oh wait, no, he's, he's still good. He actually survived that. A lot better than my Arthur did. Okay, even if he dies this turn, I think I can beat this. Rip. Rip Hunter, rip. Yeah, I still have my heal, so we're good. And if I kill them, I get some red souls back. So we're so this this is all good. You know, all I need, all I need is like some crazy nuke team that I can just straight out burst the shit out of everyone. That would be awesome. Alright, so this is 49, one level before the- Oh, two water, I can't do this. Um. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. I've learned never to bring water into those stages. Um, let, let's see. Two wood, they can hit my nightmare. I think she can tank it, no problem. And then element neutral. Yeah, an element advantage against water. All right, let's try bringing an, another healer. Maybe this will work out. If not, I can always use my other nightmare. I really like the variant color of the Water Nightmare, it looks so good. Like the, the purple outline. Looks really nice. Okay, I think we got this. We have a lot of strong debuffs. Oh shit. Oh shit, that was a lot of damage. Please heal Nightmare. Yeah, at least like some of it went to her. I kind of don't want her to waste her heal on this turn, but I guess it's fine because I do have two healers. So it's completely okay. I just want more of a full SP bar when I get into the next stage. I think this is okay. I swear these monsters are getting more SP than like than I am. It's just like the way the level is built or something. They just get SP faster.
Maybe I should run a some some monster with a shield instead. Like I do have a wood cupid. And then just like not have any recovery and just rely on the shield. And use my water nightmare for heals. That might actually work. Oh, that was not a good first turn. But oh my god, he resisted that stun again. You just need, I just need to survive one more turn. I got my heal up. Alright, my nightmare has her heal, so we're all good. Actually, I think defense buff is stronger than shield, in my opinion. Like, if you. Because the shield is, like, flat, but if you have, like, a lot better stats, then defense buff is stronger. Like, if your units have a lot more HP, then the defense buff will scale better with that. Alright, so that's 49. Um, I'm gonna make 50 a separate video, so uh, be sure to be sure to follow that. And if you guys like this video, definitely leave me a like. It does help me quite a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.